Hello and welcome to Oz Adventure Life. We're Caitlin and Michael and this week we explore the amazing Hancock and Wino Gorges. Well guys, welcome back to another episode. We left you guys off in Karajini last week, but we're still here and we still have more to explore. We've got a lot to do today. We're gonna head back towards Hancock Gorge and Wino Gorge. We're gonna do those two. Kermit Pool, Handrail Pool, both class five, so that'll be fun. <laughs> but um, we'll talk more about that when we get there. And we've also got to do Joffrey Gorge today. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into this episode and we'll catch you guys when we're at the gorge. Hello, it's so cold and so windy. I believe we're doing three gorges in this pillar. Oh, we'll warm up later. I'm just worried because these ones we have to walk through water. Here we are, we're at um, Hancock Gorge. First one of the day is um, Kermit's Pool. So hey. here's a little bit of a sneaky peek. sneaky peek of what it's gonna be like. Oh. Michael and I have just got our um, hiking shoes on to begin with, but we do have our wet shoes. wet shoes, our reef shoes. So yeah, let's get into it. Class five, should be lots of fun. We'll try film as much as we can. Warning, hypothermia can occur. Hopefully it doesn't occur to me today. <laughs> Let's rip in. <laughs> Let's go. The hike is going great so far. This one's actually easier than Knox yesterday. Yeah, um, but we've come to the water crossing, so we've got our water shoes going on. And then we're gonna walk across. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah, I'm um, excited, but then also a little bit scared that the water's gonna freeze my toes off. Um, but it'll be worth it by the looks of it.
This is just insane. I can't wipe the smile off my face. This is just weird. was probably the coldest water I've ever been in, to that be honest. Was, that was, it was so icy. We were straight in, straight out, <laughs> pretty much. Got the footage we needed and uh, got the view and experience we wanted as well. Yeah, it's definitely, if you come and it's cold, still do it, like it's an awesome thing to experience, but yeah, very cold. Uh, yeah. I think I'll be riding the rocks back. I don't <laughs> think I will be swimming through the gorge. Nah, me either. <laughs> guys we're almost done with Hancock Gorge I know we said on last week's episode that Knox Gorge was our favorite but this is definitely our, our favorite, favorite. The coldest water yeah but how awesome is this like we're literally walking through water it's so good anyways we'll catch you um, at the next gorge we're gonna be heading over to Wino Gorge Here we are guys, we're at Wino Gorge. It's also known for the handrail pool that's down in there. Um, it's a class five walk and it says 1.2 return allow one and a half hours. So we're gonna get stuck into this one. It should take us about the same as the last one. Super excited for this one. I hope that the um, sun is maybe on the water because I would like to enjoy a swim instead of like <laughs> being scared out of it by how cold it is, but yeah. Um, let's go down into the gorge and see how this one compares. So judging by the pathway already, this one is not as hard to get down into. Hancock Gorge, as you would have seen, had all of the ladders and was a fairly steep descent. This one is just kind of stairs, um, rock steps that is. And yeah, it's very wide open, so it seems much easier to get down into.
crazy cold. Okay, it's hurts. not any warmer than the other one, but we really want to go down here, so no, I guess we better get into it. Gotta do it. Oh. <laughs> Are you right? Yep. Oh. Right, so you can stand past there. I hope you guys appreciate that um, <laughs> footage from in the water there because my gosh, it was freezing. Uh, apparently it was only 13 degrees, someone took their thermometer in, but that was a very cold 13 degrees. I'm still shivering. Oh, I had to put my tights on just to help me get warm because I was shivering so much when I got out. But yeah, we're um, on our way out now. Oh, better not. <laughs> Better not fall over. Better not fall over. And uh, yeah, we got Joffrey Gorge to end the day. swimming logos there so I mean if we can avoid swimming we will but it doesn't look like there's swimming on this so we'll head to that track do the waterfall track and see what's on offer. That was giving us an easy one for the <laughs> for the rest of the day but it's another class five. Um, we've warmed up a little bit now though so anyway here we go start the descent see how it goes. It says if the um, creek is flowing to not cross it so um I mean we'll see what the creek looks like when we get down there to see if it's um safe to continue on into the gorge So for you guys at home, if you're wondering how we're doing all these tracks so easily and not getting lost along the way, they actually have some very distinct little colour coded um, dots along the way and it actually tells you what class um, you're walking on at the time. So they're throughout the whole track to the end and all the way back so it's very easy to find your way around. Yeah, so you just got to look out for those little things and if you haven't seen one for a while it means you've gone off the track and um, yeah so just make sure you keep your eye out for those
feel like you're, like you're a long way up. Well, here we go. The amazing waterfall. Yeah. It's very dry, isn't it? This where we're standing would, I guess, when there's a lot of water, it would be all filled with water. Yeah. And that's why they would have the um, swimming symbols on the map. Oh well. But yeah, this is how it looks still when there's cool. no waterfall. But yeah, it's still pretty cool. the lack of the waterfall is definitely why this one would be less talked about I think um, I don't know if you ca came in a wetter season when yeah, it would be summer. flowing more all of that gorge behind us would be swim access only so you once you get down the ladders mm -hmm. you would have to swim then on through to the waterfall so um but I think it is still pretty cool like we just walked a little bit further yeah and this view that we have here is still pretty spectacular so yeah if you get down the bottom of the stairs just go left and come up these couple of rocks and you can see straight through the gorge as we'll show you and um, it's a pretty awesome, awesome view Not a bad way to end our time in Karajini, is it? No. <laughs> yeah, I reckon um, it's good to get a good feed in, yeah, especially after a big day. We've done three gorges today, so very exa exhausted. And tomorrow we have a big day of driving, so yeah, another six hour day. We're booked back in at Ballara Station, so it would definitely be nice to oh. get back to Ballara, enjoy those showers, and. Um, kick back for the night before we head back to Exmouth so we hope you guys really enjoyed this episode let us know in the comments below which was your favorite gorge from this episode and if you didn't see last week's episode make sure you go back and check it out we'll drop the link below in the description make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you guys next week bye Cheers.